Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 8 of Power of Hope. Pretty here, full bloom. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It's funny that this saved the bus for last. Huh? Hmm? Just not now. Oh, puppy.
I'm gonna think. That would be very scary. But you can see the shadows and the territory. They're still small, but small can turn into bigger. I didn't find anything. Well, we know it has to do something with Belle, but we barely really know anything about her past. So we can't really say anything until we at least get something focused on her, which, but something tells me we're not going to get that until like the final episode. Or second to last. Second to last, yeah.
Ja. Well, yeah, you know, because it's very much newsworthy, so she has to find out that way. Maybe that could be the reason why she's here. She wants to put the town back into nothing. I don't know. I mean, it, mm. The clock tower. The clock tower is the whole symbol for the whole town. We've known that since the beginning. And it's the symbol of the people's hope. Still have the clock tower. So, they rebuild. Never know until you ask. Mm hmm. to be well it's good that we now know that bell is connected to the town like this but the thing is you want them to ask her questions but of course since she is so bitter and angry right now 
it's hard to get through to her. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Was she corrupt by something? Maybe you guys should go inside? Seems normal. because something corrupted her to be so angry and bitter. I mean, we were just going into it. I thought we were going to wait like at the 20 minute mark, but no. <laughs> so now that all five time blocks. Time flowers have bloomed. What the heck is about to happen next?
do a thank also everybody else would show up at this time too. I mean, cause yeah, Komachi did call them, so. Cause the biggest thing is we need to see a team attack with all. Nope, I'm about to say five, six. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> so are you. If you could write a really good book about this. Beautiful story. Is the time flower kind of like absorbing their energy? I mean, okay, I and I understand having it make being Nozomi first because Nozomi was the first one to reawaken towards her powers, and Komachi is the current, is the least, well, not least, she's the last one. So take the one who's out first because they're the most powerful out of all five, six, six, but. Once again, out of all the transformations, like everybody is, it, it's just new and improved. It still feels the same, even with everything new, just like cleaning up. That's what it was each and every single week on seeing these transformations and how they could just make them even more into the modern day esque, which was just highlighting how beautiful they were in the early, like years of the first start. So a couple of years of pretty hair getting started and everything. And so I love the fact that, you know, once again, we have this series and we're getting, everyone's getting to see a new light of these transformations and everything. Everybody just looked so good. But still, I am excited to hear about Komachi's story and especially how it's going to be. I'm guessing we're not going to see that until the final episode and such. And it seems like the story that she is going to write will be very uplifting and inspiring. It will generously inspire like so many generations even after when Komachi is gone because Komachi has that era about her I mean all six girls do that they're just so easily influenced on others and being like yes oh my god let's do this da -da -da -da, and such but yeah it was so good I'm just happy all six are curious again Well, it makes sense. They already did an episode on mine. So. I still wish. 
I still wish. And maybe next week could be the deal. It could be. I need these two to transform. But because of the fact is we're we're focusing on Yes Pretty Cure 5, Go Go's group, and featuring another Pretty Cure group in it. But it is not getting the main focus. You still want them to get as much equally footing and development as the main cast. And so it's like, it feels like when you're looking at this, and I don't know if it's just me, especially when you get to the Saki and my moments, it feels like a completely different show where we're going back and forth between two different Pretty Cure shows and featuring them. Like, yes, it is still Pretty Cure Full Bloom, but it's Pretty Cure Full Bloom, yes, Pretty Cure 5, go, go. And then Pretty Cure Full Bloom, um, I literally don't remember the title of a Splash Star, I think, yes. So it, it's always weird. And it's still weird because of the fact is like, Yes, bringing in the Splash Girl, Star Girls are really good because I know how very much influenced they were just as much as Go Go Girl, Girls were, just as much as Go Princess Girls are because we, like, till this day, everybody still wants a sequel to Go Go, Go Princess and stuff. And we know that the next one that is getting a sequel is Mahotsky and I was someone who loved the crap out of Mahotsky. Like, I love any freaking series of Pretty Girl regardless, but I, I'm so excited for that. But the day... Go Princess gets it, oh, the, the floodgates will be open. Like, everybody will be excited about that because everybody so wanted that to get a really good sequel, but sometimes you can't get what you want. But, I mean, yeah, it does, anytime when Saki and Mai are, like, getting episodes focused on them, it does feel different because of the fact is, like, when you're, you're so used to seeing 40-something episodes focusing on a different set of cast of Cures that when you have an initial 12 week episodes focusing on two different sets of pretty cures and such but still interacting and only making one set of group the focus and then the other ones they don't get transformations but they do equally still get focus it is still interesting but you just secretly kind of wish that everybody got transformations that's just me i mean yeah you bring like yeah, the other two girls and splash out and still no it's okay. I'm not mad at it. I'm still, you know, dealing with it and such. But I still enjoy it for what it is. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of Power of Hope. Pretty careful, Bloom. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Matcha Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 9. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.